ZANU PF Summer Sanand Gagana declared president. The much contested and anticipated 2018 presidential elections results in Zimbabwe were announced in the early hours on Friday, with the ruling Zimbabwe African National Union Patriotic Front, ZANU PF. Leader Emerson and Gagana leading his main contender Nelson Chamiza of the opposition MDC alliance. With all the country's ten provinces declared, and Gagwa, the current president and ZANU-PF leader, secured 2.46 million votes, 50.8%, compared to 2.15 million, 44.3%, for Chamiza. His chairperson Justice Pasila Chigumba said, in terms of Section 110, 3, F, 2, I do hereby declare that the votes received by Angagwa Emerson of ZANU-PF are more than half the number of the votes cast in this election, therefore Angagwa Emerson is therefore duly declared the elected president of Zimbabwe with effect from August 3, 2018. The country was braced for the results in the groundbreaking presidential elections, the first since the overthrowing of the long-serving and aging former President Robert Mugabe through military intervention in 2017. Daily Maverick canvassed the thoughts of ordinary residents of Harare. The fads watching Waru, 23, a taxi driver, queried the delays in the announcing of results. If you look at the figures the difference is too close, the reason why they have delayed in announcing the results, says Ching Waru, adding that the electoral body took time to announce the results as they were busy manipulating the figures. The Hatcliffe, a high-density area in Harare, resident expressed desolation over the outcome of the election. The ruling party lied to citizens that the election was going to be free and fair. As such I will continue busying myself with my usual hustles and all my hopes have been shattered," said Ching Waru. Pamela Mlanga, a women's rights activist, said very few women made it, if it wasn't for the quota, special seats set aside for women. The 2013 constitution stipulates that 60 seats be reserved for women as a way of ensuring their inclusion and participation in decision-making and politics. We must revisit the quota and fight to change the configuration as political parties are gatekeeping top positions, to women's detriment. Whoever comes into power must be accountable to the constitution. We must have the 50-50 or we take that authority to court," Mlando said. Though in urban areas people were looking forward to change, with a ruling party when they expect and Gagana to get down to work to address the economic crisis that has rocked the country for the past two decades. Nevenji Madenhire, a veteran journalist, said the results went according to historical trends. MDC Alliance has always dominated in urban centers, particularly Harare and Bulawayo, but ZANU-PF has dominated in rural areas. Unfortunately for the opposition the majority of the voters live in rural areas so ZANU-PF won the overall count, Madenhire said. However, Madenhire said everyone wants to move on towards development both at individual and national level. The election ignited a deadly crackdown on protesters, claiming six lives, with 14 injured. Violence is unlikely to erupt after the announcement of the results as the security forces made an unequivocal statement and the citizens will turn against the opposition leader Chamiza if he incites violence, Madenhire routed. Nonetheless, the streets of Harare on Thursday were clear, with police and army manning the venue before the announcement of the presidential results. Chamiza has indicated that the MDC will not accept any results that were not in their favor. Opposition need to do more to overturn the political demography of the rural areas, said Hopewell Gumbo, an economics justice activist based in Harare. Gumbo said Chamiza must fight for better results if he feels they were rigged. As some will be celebrating victory, however, the relatives of the deceased people who died as a result of the shootings by the military were on Thursday preparing to collect their bodies at a local hospital in Ferrari. Sylvia Mopasa said one of the relatives was on her way to take a taxi to her home when she got caught up in the protest. Mopasa, a mother of two and a grandchild, was coming from work when the incident happened. She will be laid to rest on Friday. 
Zimbabwe Peace Project and NGO Forum Chairperson Justina Mukoko said they were hearing reports about mayhem in the high-density suburbs of Glen Nora and Glenview before the results of the presidential elections were announced. In these places the army is said to be beating up people as per the information we have received from our members, Mukoko said.